part four of my rocket stove sanded it today guys painted it with uh, red paint 2000 degrees Fahrenheit red paint that's the color I have the spray can that I have in hand so blue paint here on the uh, air intake and though those are gonna be the cold part so thought painted it them blue those are 500 degrees Fahrenheit temperature the black paint is a 500 degrees temperature paint painted I use guys is those can here high heat rust oleum resist heat up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit it's a stop rust and uh, the other one was a 500 degrees for the black and the blue guys and uh, yeah that's it paint is on only thing left for me to do is to weld the piece here at the end a bolt in my hair intake here and uh, drill the holes I didn't do that yet was busy today to paint it and cut the brick I did cut my brick guys yeah bricks inside up to the rising tube there fire brick is cut I did weld another piece here guys another angle I did put this one here I did put another one for a reason safety for this park they don't come through the holes here fall on the ground and to eat the air that's gonna come in and to cool the door because it's only one eighth of an inch it's not uh, one quarter or no this one here is five sixteen of an inch this big square here and the big square have fire bricks to insulate it but the door doesn't so that's the reason I did put this as a safety issue so the spark doesn't come through the holes and to cool the door so thanks for watching and maybe next time I'll have that part there finish install and stove install inside and ready to fire it up and uh, as you see here I have big space to put a pot to heat it up to cook same thing on top here I'm able to put uh, cook on top and cook here it's a little bit high but uh, it's on the trailer right now so it's going to be on the floor it's going to be a more suitable height it's going to be about this high here from the floor so it's not going to be that high when it's going to be installed so thanks for watching and please subscribe